Hey guys, it's Miranda. I am doing a fun challenge this week. So I did the Crayola marker challenge a couple times and people seemed to like it and I really enjoyed doing it and a couple people were like, hey Miranda, could you do a Crayola crayon challenge? And so I said, yeah. <laughs> and I'm finally getting around to it. So this is what you see here. And I decided to not do outlines with ink because the first thing I thought about was that would resemble too much of a coloring page if I were to do that. And I wanted to stay away from the whole coloring page thing because I feel like that wouldn't really make this much of a challenge then. And so since I've been trying to stray away from doing outlines with Copic markers and stuff, I tried to do that approach with this. And... I have to say this, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just really like Crayola, but I love these crayons. And as you can see at the beginning, my crayons did kind of come broken in the box. My white and one of my pink E colors. But that's okay. I mean, it happens. <laughs> but I only paid like $137 for this pack at Target. And Honestly, you know, there's not a ton of colors in a 24 pack, but I wanted to keep it that way. I wanted to keep it challenging and I didn't want to go out and buy like the 96 pack or whatever because the point of this challenge is, you know, I want to show you guys that you can do art with very little. You don't have to have the most expensive supplies and you don't need like a ton of stuff. You can still be a good artist and not have the means to get nicer supplies and I have so many people comment on my channel saying like well this drawing looks nice but I don't have Copics um I only have colored pencils actually and they're from Crayola and it's a 24 pack or something like that you know and my response you know that is totally okay and the supplies you have do not make you a good artist it is your hands and your mind and I tell you guys that all the time but I want you to know that because you know, the materialistic things, it's not going to define your talent. And so I wanted to give it a go with uh, crayons here and just show you guys that you can still have decent looking art even with the least of things. And I actually really enjoy Crayola crayons. And actually when I was little, I loved rose art too. So shout out to anyone who still uses crayons. You are awesome. Yes. And I, I had a blast. If I had more colors, though, I do think it would have been easier. But, you know, you can still get away with just 24. Just think about the color wheel and mixing and everything, and it works out. I was, like, really afraid that the wax would smear the pencil lines, and it didn't, thankfully. And I was also afraid that every time I brushed the wax off of the paper... Because sometimes it gathers up, you know, that it would streak or something. And I was like, oh, please don't do that. But it was good. It behaved. By the way, if my audio sounds about ten times better in this video, funny story, I've had this mic for about seven months and I haven't noticed much of a difference with the quality. And I thought I did, but I think it was a placebo because mm, the back of it actually wasn't plugged in. And a lot of you guys have said... Can you please get a better mic? And I keep telling you, yeah, I have a blue snowball. I don't know why it's not working. And eh, it's my fault, actually. <laughs> so it's plugged in and it works now. And yeah, everything is good. I'm happy. Hope you're happy with the audio. Just that's a side note. Anyway, I don't know what I want to name this girl, but I think like, I don't know, Violet seems like a good name. I know she isn't very Violet, but she has some undertones of violet in her hair but she looks like a violet i don't know violet you're turning violet nah. but anyway that would be her name and as for a backstory i think she would be a very quiet book smart kind of person that like doesn't engage in much conversation that's just kind of how i see her i don't know like she's just very sweet and charming and comes out of nowhere and just it's always smiley, you know, but never has much to say. Very introverted. Um, is always reading books. I should have named her Belle. I don't know now. What should I name her, guys? Because, <laughs> yeah, anyway. But then I decided to add seaweed and stuff in the background. And she's not really underwater, but I just thought it would be fun. I just, I wanted to use all the colors. And so 
I just had fun with this. And you know what? That's the point of art. You just have fun with it. So it's okay. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for just uh, dealing with all my random rants here. But she has a simple backstory. I think soon in an upcoming video, <coughs> hint, there's going to be a deep backstory coming up on a future character. So stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you next week. You can click this video if you want to keep watching things, though. This girl has underwear on her head, and it's really actually fun. Okay, well, thanks for watching. See you guys.